Hey guys, good morning. Boston Bruce here. Operation Skyfall. Turn 6, the USA KMT. And a lot has happened since the last turn. Let's look at the tech chart. Hopefully we're all good. And what's going on? France has fallen to the Germans. The Japanese have settled down a little bit. They pinned us up in Yunnan. I got the CCB, CCP back up into Sinkang. The Italians building up an armada in a big army in northern Italy. Paris fell, like I said, and they also invaded northern England. The English people are asking the Americans for help, and uh, we're kind of divided, you know. If it was up to me, I'd run right over and declare war right now, but, you know, people in the country ain't ready for it. So, we're going to offer some financial aid, but that's about it at this time. All right, let's get into the KMT turn. The KMT begging for stuff, too. Uh, they have uh, six, no, five dollars to spend. They're going to spend it all. No, they're going to save a dollar. They're just going to buy one artillery and save a buck. They'll collect three, so they'll have four for next turn. We're going to place our artillery. No surprise, going down in Yunnan. Uh, no non-combat, no combat. Uh, 15 regular infantry, 1 mountain, 5 cavalry, uh, 4 militia, and 4 AA, and 1 regular artillery. And that is it. So, let's get to the USA. The USA has $28 to spend. They're going to spend it all. They're going to lend lease a strategic bomber to the uh, KMT. They're going to lend lease a fighter to the English. And they're going to stop production on the battleship. Uh, so 12, 10, and 6, 28. They'll collect 16 for next turn. Uh, tech. They're going to go for rockets, strategic bombers. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, large ship construction. Jets. No, long range. Jets. Amphib doctrine and improved construction. All right, let's see what we can do. Seven, eleven, five, two, eleven, and two ones. Well, I know the eleven is good. The two elevens and the blue seven, I don't know. Not the blue seven misses, but I get large, no, I get rockets and large ship is the two I get. So that ain't too good. That's two for seven the last two turns. So, where is large ships? Right here. Rockets to two. I don't know, yeah. I'd like to just get it done and get rid of it. All right. So, we'll collect that. So, let's deliver our lend lease. We'll put this uh, battleship on the bill queue. I'll actually show that at this present time also. I see a Japanese carrier, stage three. A uh, German battleship. This thing is scuttled. Uh, my aircraft carrier, my battleship, and a Japanese battleship. On stage two, scuttled. Uh, I got a heavy cruiser. The Italians got a heavy cruiser. The Japanese got a heavy cruiser. And the English have a light carrier and a heavy cruiser. All right. Uh, fighter. And a strategic bomber. Both of these are coming out of New England. No, actually, I can't. It's a minor factory. One of them's coming out of New England. Out of Pratt & Whitney Aircraft. Down there in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, this fight is going to go over to London. No interdiction on the way. That'll give them two fighters there now. Strategic bomber. Going to get built in New York. Come around Africa. Into I-13, then into I-8. No, actually, what is that? I-3. I-8. Into Maharashtra. Through southern India. Up the Burma Road. Into Yunnan. 
So they'll now have a strategic bomber in Yunnan. And I believe that is it. Uh, turning it over to Global War Enthusiasts. Let's move this over to number seven. And I get a die roll next turn. So does the U.S. This don't matter because they're already at wartime. But the Russians will get a D12. And the Americans will get a D12. Could determine the actions of some of the other, what the Japanese want to do over there. Alrighty. This is Boston Bruce signing out. Oh, what's my uh, tech now? Let me see. Uh, I've rolled, what, 21? And I got 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's not too freaking good. All right, Boston Bruce signing out.